This is Pastor Omar, and shalom this morning. May God's peace be with you. Uh, this is a series of videos that I am doing on the Christian, uh, Christian beliefs, and I'm still in the introductory portion of this uh, where I am introducing important considerations that we need to have um, before we get into anything about what Christians believe. And uh, today I want to talk about Judaism. Uh, sometimes we uh, forget uh, honestly, that uh, Jesus was Jewish and uh, Paul the Apostle was Jewish and most of Jesus' apostles were, and disciples were Jewish. And uh, today happens to be Rosh Hashanah, which is the first day of the Jewish uh, New Year. And our family had uh, the, really the privilege of being uh, members at a Jewish community center for uh, quite some time, uh, quite a number of years. Uh, here in Florida. And it was a time that was so enriching because I learned so much about Judaism that I didn't know. And I really, in doing that, learned more about Christianity. Um, and it, it put things into a context that I could never have really fully understood until we had the joy of getting to meet um, uh, what became Jewish friends uh, and uh, relationships with um, Jewish people. and. I found it to be such an enrich, enriching time. And one of the things that uh, at, the, at the Jewish Community Center on Rosh Hashanah, that we saw people celebrating uh, in the new year. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a little bowl of some apples and honey. And sometimes uh, there's this, this delicious challah bread, which you sometimes see it in supermarkets. And it's a loaf of bread that is intertwined uh, with different uh, strands of dough are intertwined into one loaf. And it's just a delicious sweet bread, and that is sometimes eaten with honey. And the Jewish New Year ushers in a period of uh, days of repentance. It culminates with Yom Kippur, which is a day of atonement. Again, sometimes challah bread is eaten and dipped with uh, honey. And it's a time of renewal. It's a time in which, uh, you know, you, uh, there's a repentance of sin and uh, beginning the year with a new slate. But uh, I, so I think it's very appropriate that in today's video, this is actually going to be posted later in the week, but I'm doing the video um, on the first day of the Jewish New Year. And I think this is so appropriate because uh, we as Christians sometimes forget that Judaism comes right out of, uh, that Christianity comes right out of Judaism. And uh, sometimes in forgetting that, we've lost some very important theology. There are so many, uh, not only can we not really understand what's happening when we read um, our scriptures or when we read from the Hebrew scriptures. But again, we, we have so much that we owe uh, in far, as far as important themes. So care of creation, for example, a very important theme uh, within Judaism. The love of God and neighbor. The election of the people of God to be a light and uh, to be called to be witnesses of God's love and light. Uh, to, to live within the light of God's law. Uh, God as a being that is beyond human comprehension. The Messiah, the Chosen One, a descendant of David that is to come. Uh, the resurrection of the body in the world to come. And uh, all of these are just uh, important theological themes within Judaism that, uh, that transfer over to Christianity in an important way. And we can't lose these. They're important to how we live our life in this world. Uh, and of course, the covenant, I think, is another very important one. Today in Christianity, it's very popular for many Christians to really reduce uh, the good news uh, simply, uh, uh, you know, making our faith about having a personally, personal relationship with Jesus. Uh, you hear that a lot with Christians today. Uh, almost a, the whole definition of Christianity is having a personal relationship with Jesus. Well, that's really taking the focus away from what it means to be the people of God, to what it means to live in a covenant community. And that comes right out of Judaism, and it is part of our Christian faith. The challah bread that I talked about earlier is such a beautiful picture of this because there are individual uh, threads of strands of bread and th those are woven together into this beautiful loaf and it represents uh, our individual place within the, co the covenant community of, of, uh, of, of the family of God. All of that comes out of Jewish tradition. And so the, um, it's important for us as Christians not to divorce this and also to learn and to understand um, and to know what these themes are and how they play themselves out uh, in the letters that are being written of the New Testament. 
of course, I have to take this time to also denounce um, and to really, again, just add my voice to the confession, to the repentance of the Christian community in acknowledging the role that the church has played in many um, just horrific acts of violence against the Jewish people and persecution or, or prejudice, uh, racism, anti-Semitism. Uh, it's very sad that, that Christians have played a role in the persecution of uh, Jewish people and it's something that we have to acknowledge and admit it's something that we have to uh, understand I think every every person should at some point every Christian should visit the Holocaust a Holocaust Museum uh, the one in Washington DC if you can make that trip because we have not really come to terms in, in my opinion with the that event and until we do we're really not going to be able to learn anything uh, about what it means to live in this world as God's children. And we've ne we have to come to face with the hor hor just the horrific acts that took place and how we as Christians contributed to that if we are to avoid that ever happening again. Um, but uh, it it's so important that we acknowledge it and that we repent of it and that we come to terms with it. Um, I can't believe it, but I have spoken to, I still uh, speak to, I've spoken to a Christian this past year uh, who still used the phrase um, the Jews uh, killed Jesus and uh, I challenged that individual on that and said wait a minute you know um, do you understand what you're saying and I was shocked I was absolutely shocked that I am still hearing that type of uh, accusation coming from Christians so uh, we have to come to terms with this uh, and we have to acknowledge um, the uh, the place that Judaism plays uh, in in the uh, formation of Christian thought very important so I want to close with this uh, from the letter of Romans of uh, Paul and uh, he is speaking about the uh, Jewish people and he says for my family my kin of the flesh Israelites they are and to them are due the sonship the glory the covenants the giving of the Torah the worship the promises of them were the patriarchs, and from them is the Messiah in the flesh, uh, who is over all, and whom God blessed forever, for the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. That's Saul of Tarsus, also called Paul, uh, the apostle, writing in the letter to the Romans, um, talking about the blessing of Judaism to us as Christians. So again, uh, a short video, not very long, but a poignant reminder. Uh, I hope that uh, you will give it some thought when you come to the reading of your scriptures, uh, when you come to the reading of the Bible, uh, the important role that Jewish thought plays in the life of Christians. I named a few of the themes. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into those in detail, um, and that's not even a exhaustive list. Those were just a few of the themes that I could think of uh, off the top of my head. Um, just to give you an idea, but all of those themes very important and um, I guess I guess I'll add one last thing and that is in current Christian scholarship there has been a return to this there were some Jewish scholars that had been writing reminding uh, uh, everyone that Christianity comes out of Judaism and from that there has been a great um, amount of papers and books that have been written in what's called the new perspectives uh, again, I'm not going to go too much into this except to say that uh, basically what the new perspectives are doing, uh, it could be called the new perspectives on Paul but, uh, or on the New Testament, but what it's attempting to do is to uh, sort of do a course correction and reset us uh, to the point, to the extent that we as Christians have forgotten the important foundations of Judaism and how that has um, helped form Christian belief. Um, so again, something that's very important for us not to forget. So I hope you go today and again, shalom, go in God's peace uh, to do the work that God has called you to do and uh, may God richly bless you. Thank you. I'm going to go and I'm going to have uh, some apples and some honey for my uh, breakfast this morning uh, celebrating uh, the beginning of the Jewish New Year. Um, you know, and a happy new year to all of our Jewish friends out there.